In this segment, you will learn how to install and weld bond a centre pillar using Fuser 108B and Fuser 110B. Benefits of using Fuser 108B and 110B include weld bondable, corrosion protection, matches OEM appearance. Begin by cutting the marked area with an air saw or air chisel, making sure not to cut into the inner panels. Using a spot weld removal tool, drill out the spot welds and chisel the remaining edges. Then remove the damaged panel. You may need to use a heat gun to separate the centre pillar from the original seam sealer or foam. Pay special attention to preparing the damaged edges. Straighten the damaged edges using a hammer and dolly. With the centre pillar removed, grind old paint, primer and surface rust from the edges where Fuser 108B or 110B adhesive will be applied. If there is a galvanised coating, be sure to grind to the bare metal. Next, remove any E-coating or galvanised coating in the bond area of the new centre pillar with an angle grinder. The bond area is the portion of the new panel that will contact the centre pillar structure mating flanges. Prepare a 50mm backer plate that will overlap the underside of both the new panel and the original panel seam by 25mm and cover the complete seam. Grind the front side of the backer plate to remove any primer, e-coating, corrosion protection or galvanised coating that may be present. Pre-fit the backer plate to both joint panels to ensure a good fit. When sectioning the centre pillar, be sure to bevel the edges of the mating seams on the new panel and the original panel to less than 10 degrees and taper the beveled edges for a smooth transition. Prefit all parts to ensure proper alignment. Prior to applying the adhesive, clean the bond surfaces of dust and debris using compressed air. For this repair, we will use Fuser 110B and 108B adhesive. 108B has a work time of between 40 and 50 minutes at 21 degrees Celsius. 110B has a work time of between 5 and 8 minutes at 21 degrees Celsius. It is important to note that prior to using any two component adhesive, seam sealer or foam, Dispense a small amount of material from the cartridge to ensure an even flow of both components. Then attach a mixing tip and dispense a small amount of material until uniformly mixed. This is a key step in all repairs. Begin by adding Fuser 110B to the metal backer patches and install them at the front and rear rocker panels as well as the upper centre pillar section. Secure with clamps, insert a wedge or weld bond as necessary and allow to cure. After cure, grind down any remaining adhesive from the backer patch with a DA sander or angle grinder. Now apply a 10mm bead of Fuser 108B to the prepared edges of the bond area, making sure that all bond areas are adequately covered. Properly position the new centre pillar. Once positioned, do not pull away from the vehicle. If repositioning is needed, slide the centre pillar. This maintains proper contact between the centre pillar and inner structure. Clamp evenly and tightly with insulated clamps. Glass beads in the adhesive will prevent you from over clamping the bond line. Apply screws in hard to clamp areas. Where possible, wipe excess adhesive from the panel before it cures. This will save you time later. Allow the adhesive to cure for one and a half to two hours at 21 degrees Celsius before removing clamps, unless welding will take place within this time frame. Clamps may be removed immediately after the panel is welded. Expect the adhesive to be a little tacky on the surface, as this is a normal property of the adhesive. Now we are ready to weld bond. Be sure to review all pertinent information about the use of the squeeze type resistant spot welder before you begin. Consult the welder manufacturer 
for the approximate recommended settings for weld bonding. You may begin welding immediately any time during the adhesive cure process and or when the adhesive is fully cured. Welder settings will vary when welding through wet versus cured adhesive. If a test sample through cured adhesive was not made, use the welder manufacturer's recommended settings for welding through cured adhesive. Once the first weld is made, continue welding, maintaining the original spot weld spacing. Welds should be placed as close as possible to the original spot weld location without overlapping the original weld site. Do not place a new spot weld directly over the original weld location. Remove the clamps and grind down any remaining adhesive from the cosmetic repair area with a DA sander or angle grinder. Finish by applying Fuser 130 foam to the centre pillar. This will give the pillar additional support. For an undetectable repair, apply a fibre filled body filler to any section seam. Allow to cure and contour sand. Next apply a skim coat of conventional body filler and allow to cure and rough sand. Once the adhesive fully cures, block sand, prime and refinish per the paint manufacturer's recommendations. This completes the centre pillar replacement procedure using Fuser 108B and Fuser 110B. For more information, visit www.lord.com or contact your local Fuser distributor.